All right, team, are you curious about running freight? Well, stay tuned. This episode covers three tips that you want whenever you head to a shipper. All right, guys, the number one tip has got to be have a plan. Every time we approach any situation, we want to have some idea of how we want it to go, and a shipper is no different. So when we're thinking about approaching that shipper, we want to use three different apps to make that plan. That first app is going to be your trucker path app. That's going to help you know how far from where you parked that night to where you're going and some plans on how to approach that when you need to leave out, things like this. Number two is going to be my radar. It's going to help you plan for the weather. We always want to stay ahead of the weather. And that third app is going to be your Google Maps satellite. And this is my favorite app to use, especially as a young operator. You want to have a plan. When you're approaching shippers or receivers, you want to know how you're going to be able to get in, how you're going to be able to manipulate your trailer in space, and feel confident that you can get in and out of that shipper with your trailer and truck in that space efficiently. So number one, no matter what, guys, we always want to have a plan. All right, as we can see right here, we are pulling onto the facility, passing all of these lumber trucks. It's pretty typical at these sorts of facilities to have raw material coming in, being manufactured, and then us taking finished product out. So we cross over the tracks here. We're pulling onto the scale so we can go get checked in with security with our numbers. So tell you guys, I'll be right back. Now at this point, I'm heading up to the security window to give them my load number, my truck number, and my trailer number, so then we can pull into the loading dock. Now it's worth noting that every single shipper and every single receiver is a little different in what they like and how they like you to do it. So make sure that you get a lay of the land. Some places require a lot of PPE. Some places require that you wait in a certain area. It's important to understand what the specifics are at that particular shipper, so that way you can get loaded in an efficient and safe manner. Now at this particular facility, they load us with two different forklifts. And from there, we go ahead and use these tarp machines to drape the tarps over the top of the product and then bungee down the corners before we pull out to finish our securement. And having pulled out of the bay, we find a nice safe place where we're out of the way and we can set our brakes and finish our securement, throwing some straps over the top of this thing so we can hit the road. All right, team, and my third official tip after all this is you've got to stay positive. Out here, it's real easy to have your day get kind of derailed from an unhappy shipper or an unhappy receiver, security person, other trucker. And I got some great advice a while ago. Uh, one of the people I look up to said something to me to the effect of, if someone is having a bad day and taking it out on you, that's your opportunity to make their day better. So if you see it that way, this is all, all of us together trying to get through the day and, and get through uh, uh, running freight in an efficient and enjoyable way because it really can be quite an enjoyable experience out here. So. Stay positive. Keep it light, baby. All right, team, there we have it. Those are your three tips you can take to any shipper. Now, let's hit the road, go see this receiver. And feel confident that you can get in and out of that location uh, efficiently with your truck and trailer. Okay, we're gonna take that one again. Okay, what do you think? Feedback, notes? I think it was good.